Today, I will be talking about the 10 commandments of the black pill. I wrote them all down and I'll give a little summary and a little bit of my free thoughts on it. Okay, let's go. First commandment, you shall have no other pill before me. The blue pill is a lie, the red pill is too blind, and the black pill opens the mind. This one's self-explanatory. You've been a blue pill, that time's done. You've probably been a red pill. That time should still have some of those, those traits you should still have in your mind, the self-development aspect. Trying to hustle, trying to keep that passion going. You don't just want to go full doomer. But remember, the truth is lying in the black pill. Okay? Second commandment. Thou shalt not make unto thee simp-like thoughts and actions. Don't be a simp, bro. No one likes it. Not even simps themselves. They resent themselves. Girls won't respect you. Dudes won't respect you. And most importantly, you won't respect yourself. What is it going to bring you? Misery. If you're chasing those girls. If you can chase them, it's fine. I chase girls. But at least do it in a more macho sort of way. Macho. That's even the wrong way to say it. The best way. Look max yourself as possible as you can. Understand female nature the way that they act. So you can see if a girl has any interest towards you. And make your actions based off of that. Don't end up in the in the little a little beta orbiters of a girl or something. Shit's cringe. Next one. Thou shall not take the word of the black pill in vain. You need to understand it. Absorb it and develop through it. Don't just watch videos for cope without taking action of the knowledge you have learned, which can be transformative in one's life. Okay? I know a lot of you out here watching these black pill videos, tales and stuff like that. I do it as well. And you're just there busting a mental nut. Not doing anything about it. Maybe crying about it, but not doing anything productive from it. Take these black pill things you know. You don't know how lucky you are for knowing it. I'm not saying you're lucky in life, but you don't know how lucky you are for having found the black pill. Me, as a Chad, having done game and many things like this, the, as, the thing that had the biggest change getting girls wise or like self development wise was understanding the black pill and acting upon those things I learned. How girls react to these sort of looks, things that they're into. That gave me the knowledge to have more su success in so many areas, even work related. It's insane. Next commandment. Remember your black pill origin and keep it holy. Don't forget where you came from or the life experiences and situations which led you to the black pill. I'll give you uh, an example. It's like, one second please. <laughs> Disgusting. It's like you're in a, you're a single dude. You know you're hustling. I don't know if you've had the experience before. If you're a normie, there's a chance you had a girlfriend. If you didn't, then just listen to this example. You're hustling. You're going to gym. You're working hard. You're making your money. You get some girl's interest. You start dating. You start smashing. You get into a relationship. And you start slacking. You lose some of that muscle. You lose some of that drive. You start throwing your money away. Don't slack. That's what it's like with the black pill. Remember where you came from. Remember the pain and anger you went through. This is more for the people who have ascended or are ascending. Don't forget it. Because then you can go back down that blue pill path and that blue pill mindset. And that will just hurt you in the end, okay? So remember where you came from. Five. Honor your mogger and mogged. Some you will mog. Some will mog you, but respect your mogies nonetheless. We are in this mogged existence together, and being unkind, spiteful, or envious will only hurt you in the end. Okay? I'll give you an example. Let's say I mog a dude. I go to the club and there's dudes that I mog. You might have known chads that will even exaggerate more. They will shit on the guy. They will take advantage of that that point of power they're in to lift their own self-esteem, to look cooler in front of girls or other guys, which it doesn't work like that. Maybe for some idiot guys. But you got to respect dudes that you mog. Even lift them up. Give them some attention. It's what I do if I'm in the club. I'll give them attention. I'll hang out with them. I'll be vibing. It will raise their social status and self-value of themselves, believe it or not. Even if it's a schmeckle, it's better than putting it down. Another case, if there's a dude that mogs you, I still have this, very rare, but I still have it, and you will have it, and I will have it. Don't be fucking spiteful towards a dude. 
That will just mug yourself, mug your energy. You don't know the dude, you don't know what he's been through, you don't know his life. Don't hate on him just for existing. What's the point to it, dude? It's like a poison in your body, okay? On to the next. Thou shalt not be a doomer. This one's important, guys. This one's important because a lot of black pills break this commandment every fucking day. For every high, there is a low. For every two, there is a fro. For every wrong, there is a right. For every darkness, there is light. However brutal life can be, for some less, for some more, we play a big part in our reality. And if you just cry and don't try, then your life will just keep snowballing into depression and oblivion. Okay? Don't be a doomer. I know it can be difficult sometimes to have an optimistic attitude in life, especially when it just keeps giving you hits after hits. I got a couple of days right now where I've been getting mauled by life, dude. Not as bad as like a couple of years ago, but I've had some things that was a pain in the fucking ass for me. And I was, I was so thinking, looking at the glass like it was half empty. But I changed my mindset. And that's what you got to do. Because believe it or not, your mindset changes a lot in life. I'm not going to start quoting books or stuff like that. I'm just going to say that. And for those of you who will take it and know it, good for you. For those of you who want to throw it away, that's your choice, dude. That's your life. It's on you. Next one. Thou shalt not commit envy. This is a big one. And I know a lot of you have had this issue. I've had this issue. Being envious is a huge mog to a black pillar. It leads you down the path of destruction and despair. Feeling spite and envy towards others in a better life situation than yourself, at least in your eyes, will only rot your character and kill any motivation or drive you might have to better your own situation. I think I explained it quite well in that little summary. Envy kills. Envy kills. People have killed for envy. You understand? In any way, shape, or form. If you're envying the other dude, let's say you're looking at the Chad that's in your school, in your class and shit, you're like, damn, I wish I had his life, man. He could have an amazing, perfect life. Rich parents that are super nice and shit and amazing shit. He could come from a trailer park with his dad who beats him, his mom who's dead, and shit, and his brother who's dying of cancer. You don't know, so don't judge a person's life just based off what you see on a first aspect. Who knows? You can make friends with that guy and he could tell you some cool looks match and shit that could help you in your life. He could be a really nice dude. Don't envy what a guy has because you don't have it. Be as content as you can with what you have because your mental state is dependent on not just your environment but yourself. And if you're just always looking at what other people have and you're just looking at their beautiful flowers in their garden, you ain't going to tend to your own ones and they're going to die. Next one. Thou shalt looks max. This one is self-explanatory. If you're an average or below average looking dude, then you gotta put in the time and effort to better your situation. Small, slow steps go a long way. So have patience and faith in your looks maxing journey. 1% in 100 areas makes 100%. I don't have to explain why looks maxing is important to you guys. You should know it and more importantly, you should be doing it. How do you know if it's all for naught? How do you know if it's all for naught unless you try it? You might just find an extra hobby you like. Fashion, gym, anything like that. Next one. Thou shalt not bear witness to looksmax.org. None. I'm not even going to give them some, some attention by this. You understand it. Screw that stuff. Nasty. Don't know how to do ratings. Don't know game. Talking about all kinds of garbage. No. 10. Thou shalt see the beauty within the black pill. There's beauty in the black pill, believe it or not. Just like in brutal truths of life and reality, there's also beauty. Ha, I made you think the fucking video froze. Fool! Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed organizing it, putting it together. Peace. Bye.